We will have some Solana project in this video, absolutely yes, but I do want to start from some that you probably didn't even heard. And I am sure most of you have BNB on the site as a long-term investment. So with that, we jump straight onto here and this is the Kinsa Finance airdrop. Now this is a BNB airdrop in the BNB chain on the Binance chain, which is in my opinion, one of the most undervalued airdrop out there and it is super easy to go and do. So as we're able to go and see, we got their point systems as well over here and the voice airdrop. So a hundred, a thousand percent con uh, confirmed. And if you do wish to join in, make sure the link is down below. Make sure to join. Thank you. Thank you very much for the support. I do get a percentage of the points that you make, so you don't lose any money. Thank you very much for the support. But how does it work? Well, we are over here on the dashboard or on the market. Well, we go on the dashboard, which will be presented over here, and you're able to supply and borrow token. Now, make sure to know what you're doing when lending and borrowing token or supplying and borrowing token. There is a risk of liquidation, which means that you are risking to lose all of your money if you do not know what you're doing. And I will give you my my tactic right now and what I am doing to be to prevent from being liquidated, but you gotta be careful, do your due diligence. I'm no financial advisor, but what is my strategy? Well, my strategy is this one. What I'm doing is I am lending, so I am supplying my BNB token as I had a few laying around. I have approximately five and a half BNB token laying around for the long-term investment, and I decided to invest them over here. Make sure with all of the protocols that we see in this video, you do not lose your money. If you go and land the tokens, you're able to withdraw them anytime after the airdrop. So I supplied the BNB tokens over here, which is very, very nice. I can withdraw, I can supply even more if I had to, but I do not have them unless $20. So you go here and assets to supply, you decide between USDC and BNB. I put BNB, which is what I had. And I have put enough to be able to borrow tokens. Now, when I go and borrow tokens, is the best option that you're able to do is either lend and borrow per token. So USDC to USDT, or in my case, BNB to SBNB. Why? Because the value of a BNB per token is going to go up if BNB goes up, gonna go down if BNB goes down. The same goes with the USDC or USDT. They are more or less the same. So we're playing with same value token. We're not doing BNB to Ethereum, for example, which could result in a further and most probable way of being liquidated from the market. So that's my opinion. That's what I do. I, tr I it's, It is risky, but I try to keep it safer by using BNB related token. So I lend my BNB and I borrow SNBNB. Now with this one, I do a looping. So I re-lend my SBNB, which SNBNB doing the looping in this way with any protocols in the blockchain, in the crypto world, it is risky, but I do not do it much and I'm able to withdraw them anytime. And my health factor, as you're able to go and see, it is in the green. If it goes below here, it is liquidation and it would be better. What would be better? How to get the health, health factor up is simply by lending more or lend the same that you have in your wallet, but borrow less. That's the simple thing. But this is how I am doing the you know, the airdrop over here on BNB. And everybody's focusing on the Solana, which we will focus in just a second as well. But I do think that the BNB airdrop over here is not talked about enough. And if you get into right now, I am sure that there's not many people participating in this airdrop, which means that could be potentially more profitable for you if you enter also on this BNB airdrop instead of just focusing on the Solana. But this is the first of the airdrop, which is the BNB airdrop. Now let's go and focus on the possible Solana airdrop. We start off with Marinade over here. Now, if you do want to utilize, and this is a step-by-step, -step, literally from step one, how to get sold, to stake, to utilize from one stacking, from stacking one single Solana, how you're able to go and farm four different airdrops. So if you do enjoy it, all the links are going to be down below. You will find it on the comment section so or in the description. So make sure to utilize my referral code if you wish. Thank you very much for the support. And you will get bonus points as well by utilizing a referral code. So thank you very much. But we're going to go into all four of this. So we start off with Marinade over here. 
you're able to stake Solana to get MNDE, which is the beginning of the procedure to get all four of the airdrops. And if you do like the video and you find this important, make sure to retweet it, comment, like it, and all them goodies. So you'll be taken to this landing page over here, utilizing my code over down below. So this is going to be the presentation. Welcome to your Solana stacking overview, which you're able to go and check all the overview that you need to do, but it is very important. So you have Solana and I already started farming and stacking my Solana. If you do want, you can go simply from here, from the stacking, start earning Sol now. The important thing is go to starting Sol. You have liquid over on stacking, not native. And you also have automated or you go and choose your manual validator. If you have a friend or know somebody that you want to support, click on max over here, which this is what you got you'll be able to stake Solana. So important is that you have liquid stacking. By stacking this Solana over here, you will be rewarded MN, M Sol. MND will be the airdrop from this. So by stacking Solana, you get the first airdrop plus more information in the future on it as it is coming to the end of the month and you're able to claim your token after 30 days. But if you stake one Solana, in your Phantom wallet or the any other wallet that you're utilizing, you will be receiving as well M Sol. Now, stacking Solana over here on Moneynade, you will find the link down below to get extra points. You will have stacked Solana into M Sol. You get the same amount of Solana you take out. Basically, they give you M Sol in return after stacking Solana. What do we do from now? Well, we got two possibilities. We got Margin Fight or we've got also Drift. This is completely up to you. You will find both the Margin file and the Drift link down below. It's my affiliate link. If you do want to join, thank you very much. But what are we doing here? Well, we go on a landing. And why am I giving you two options for it? Well, because sometimes it could be complete. There could be too many people landing and borrowing, for example, on Margin file that you need to swift to Drift. And yes, both of them have potential airdrops. So make sure to check it out. So here, as you're able to go and see, I am putting, as we said, I supplied my Solana. I supplied my Blaze, which were like 80 cents. And just to see 80 cents, these were received from airdrops already. So it's just a little bit more just to have more contract signing and implementing more things. As you're able to go and see over here, I have the M Sol and I borrowed. I supplied the M Sol. I supplied $600, but I only borrow, as you're able to go and see here, $282, because I do want to keep it safer than riskier in terms that I don't want to borrow 100% of what I can so that my health factor, which is already in the red, it is not extremely bad. So that's one key feature. So I lend M Sol and I borrow B Sol and I also borrow Gito Sol. So this was just to have two different pools, but you're able to do anything that you want. And to do this, well, you go over here on land, you supply your token, as we're able to go and see, select token, and you can supply your land and borrow over here. You supply Solana. So you're also, it's better if you go and do it with the M Sol because this will allow you to have the marinade airdrop as well as the margin file or the drift airdrop or if you have, for example, 10 Solana that you stake over on the Marinade website over here, you're able to put five on margin, five, five on drift. So you pour, you have all the airdrop completes. So important here, as we said, you land Solana, Gito Sol, whichever coin you have, you, we did receive Emsol, which is over here. You click on Emsol that we just received. I already staked mine. And once you supply let's say $500 worth of MSOL, kind of like what I did, you have the possibility to borrow against what you lend. In this case, you go and pick what you want to borrow. I did MSOL, as we're able to go and see, I landed MSOL and I borrowed BSOL. This is the strategy that I suggest you to do. Why? Well, simply because you are doing Solana with Solana token. You're not doing shit coins. You're not doing stable coins. The price more or less of MSOL and BSOL are always going to be the same. Also, if you decide to go and stake Solana over here, so you stake a little bit over here, then you want to do Solana and Solana instead of MSOL, BSOL, you are able to do it. But keep a pair, you lend and you borrow something that has more or less the same value. Either you do all stable coins or you do all Solana related coin. If one goes up, the other goes up. If one goes down, the other goes down. It works absolutely smooth. So you lend and you 
you land and you borrow. After this, you're able to find over here, you have the point section, which by the way, you're able to go and stake as well if you want, swap, bridge, up to you. But you got the, pay, the points over here and you're able to see your progress. Every referral points that I get, for example, if you decide to support me with my referral links, I get 10% of the points that you do. So you don't lose money, you just support me, I get 10% of the point. If you invite somebody else, you will get 10% of that person as well. And I got the landing points and the borrowing points. The borrowing points are four to one. The landing points are more or less one to one as it stands. So you get more points by borrowing more, but it is also riskier to borrow close to what you land. So make sure, please be careful, do your due diligence. I'm no financial advisor whatsoever. This is simply my strategy to go and have the best possible airdrops going into 2024. And we said either margin five or drift or both. Also over here, you have the refer links down below and it is a point system. So potentially an airdrop is more likely to happen than not. And what do we do here? Well, on drift, you're able to do the same thing. You're able to land, trade, earn, etc. And if we go here, we land and borrow as we're able to go and see. I did also apply for this and I am landing and borrowing money. What, do I, what did I do? Well, first step, stake Solana receive msol second step i went to margin five so i did all of the procedure i supplied msol and i borrowed bsol the bsol that i borrowed over here which by the way you find automatically in your wallet if you do all of these procedures the bsol that i borrowed from margin five i went on and deposited and landed it over on drift so it is kind of a looping a looping is when you go and reutilize all the assets more than one time but your risk of liquidation will increase if you keep on looping it. So I didn't do it as much, but we went over here and we got the lending and the borrowing. So I did lend BSOL and in this case, I did borrow only $68 just to have a little bit of MSOL. So I landed MSOL once again, which is the first thing that we did. But by lending the BSOL over here, $120, I was able to borrow 50% to keep my account health of 29%. I was able to borrow the beautiful of the Ansel. Now with this Ansel, I could keep on looping it. So I've got them cool. I could go back and lend them, but I'm not gonna do that. That is up to you. If you do wanna do it, feel free to do it. The other thing, so this is also lending and borrowing and it works the same. We got the total value borrowed, insurance fund stake, users, 70,000 users, which I do believe it is less than a margin fee in terms of users, but I might be wrong. But Anyway, we have landed and borrowed on three different platforms. Which one is the fourth? Well, fourth is the most interesting one, and it is Camino. Over here on Camino, I provided liquidity with BSOL and also KJT. So these are, as we're able to go and see BSOL, I did put a little bit of BSOL from MarginFi, which as we're able to go and see, I borrowed $282 worth of BSOL and GTOSOL. Well, what I did is, I put a little bit over here, lending and borrowing, so I'm able to be eligible for this airdrop, even though I'm not the highest ranking in the airdrop, I am eligible for this. And I also went to put it onto Camino. Camino, I provided liquidity, but also here, you are able to borrow and lend. But I did provide liquidity over here, and the liquidity I provided is be sold to sold. Now, the nice thing over here, you don't have to swap. If you have two be sold, you put on the liquidity, you deposit your be sold or your Solana, the amount that you deposit, it is going to be automatically cut in half and the liquidity provided. So you don't have to worry about that. We're able to go and see I am in profit. I got a few fees. So very happy for that. As Solana price did go really, really nice. The thing is here, we got the points and we are still early for the Camino one because Camino still hasn't released a point system, which point system means potential airdrop. But you are early to go and utilize. So make sure to go and do this. Uh, potentially Camino, the most important one out of them. So make sure to get yourself a position if you do want to be eligible for the airdrop because the point system yet not came out, which means if you start now, you are very, very early to go and utilize, which is absolutely one of the best thing possible. But 
These are my four Solana airdrop. We have also BNB airdrop, which you're able to find throughout my Twitter page or my YouTube as well. We got free airdrop. We post daily videos on airdrop. Make sure to stick to the channel, stick to the Twitter page, turn the notification bell on, be the first one to enter all of these airdrop. With that said, thank you for watching, guys, and I will definitely see you all in tomorrow's video. If you got questions, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you very much and see you.